Last problem. They have the product, they have this division problem written as one, right? So is there anything we can simplify? Does four divide into three? B or C don't divide into A, right? So we're kind of stuck. Kind of stuck. Um, so what we're going to do is when you can't actually divide further to simplify it, what you can do, or what we call simplified version of a division problem, is as long as there's a radical not in the denominator. So basically, if we writ it, rewrote this out here, we'd have cube root of 3a. I could rewrite this like this, right? So you guys understand by looking at like this or like this, you can see that there is a cube root in the denominator. Yes? Mm -hmm. We want to write this equation without a root in the denominator. They don't actually physically divide into one another. So the simplified version would be no root in the denominator. So Aaron, what I need to do is I need to use my identity property. So therefore, there's no more root. Does everybody see that? OK. okay. So I need to get this so that 4 would be raised to the third power. B has to be raised to the third power. And C needs to be raised to the third power. OK. So if I have 4, really 4 to the first power, what do I need to multiply 4 to the first power so it's 4 cubed? Four. Huh? What do I need to multiply 4 to the first power by? B to the third. No, no. Four squared. Yeah. 4 squared. Does everybody agree with that? OK. Mm -hmm. um, what about b squared? I need to get this to be the third power, right? So I need to write multiply by b. b to the first power is right in there. And what about c? I'm given c, c squared. So this is what I need to multiply by. Does everybody agree? So that everything will equal 3? So I could write 4 squared times b to the first times c squared. If I multiplied this times this, would that give me everything to the third power? Yes, but the problem is one's under a radical, one is not under a radical. It's a problem with that. The reason being is, think about what the answer to this is in your head. It is not 4 times the square root of 16. Because the square root of 16 is what? 4. So this would be 4 times 2, which equals 8. Okay, so what I'm trying to prove to you is you cannot multiply a number inside the radical to a number outside of a radical. However, if I have two numbers that have the same index, I can multiply them. Correct? So what is so therefore I can't multiply this times this. However, if this, had the same, if this was a root with the same index, I could multiply them. So what root and index would that have to be? Cube. cube root. So you just multiply by the cube root of that whole expression. Whatever you do in the numerator or denominator, you have to do in the numerator. Because we've got to keep equivalent fractions. All right? Do these two have the same terms up top, or same indexes? They have the same indexes, right? Now, a lot of times, ladies and gentlemen, I don't like to actually multiply this out, except for up here. Um, really, 4 squared is just 16. 16 times 3 is 40, 48. And then I have a, um, a, let's do c squared, c squared ab. Because kind of like, remember polynomials, highest power, kind of just like the right highest, like have some kind of order to it. All right, in the denominator, I have the cube root of 4 times 4 squared is 4 cubed. b squared times b is b cubed. And c times c squared is c cubed. Do you guys agree with me I could take the cube root of all of those? Yes? So therefore, I'm left with 4bc. So my final answer, oh, no, 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 no. No, I didn't. I just didn't follow my steps. Simplify, which we did, right? We simplified. Then apply the operation, which we did. We rationalized the denominator. 
The last thing is simplify. Simplify. So I simplified this. Can I rewrite 48? Is 48 a cube number? No. no. However, since I kind of saved time, can I rewrite 48 as a product of one of those cube numbers? 8 and 6. So the cube root of 8 times 6, the cube root of 8 is 2, cube root of 6. So my final answer would be 2 cube root of 6 c squared ab divided by 4 bc. And a student asked me last class period, which is a good question, they said, well, why can't you divide the c's? Why don't the b's like divide out? In the same respect, just like how you can't take a number outside of a radical and multiply it to a number inside a radical, you can't take a number outside of a radical and divide it into a radical. Okay, So this would be your final answer. I don't know. I just uh, I was just.